Welcome back to Wild Ride. Uh, we got another episode of First Time Friction Fire Starters. Today, I have probably the most brolic person that's yet to be on the First Time Friction Fire Starter show. She's a badass woman that really got me into all these survival and outdoors things and always encouraged me to continue to do it and pursue it. Without further ado, today we have my beautiful mother, Julie. Hello. First, I wanna ask you what kind of friction fire you wanna make. Okay, I wanna build a bow drill mm -hmm. and I wanna make, like I said, it's a bucket list thing for me to make fire from sticks. Okay, so we're gonna try and do that today. Around here we have Eastern Red Cedar. That's probably the best wood uh, that I know of to use. So we'll shape out a spindle, shape out a hearth board. Uh, we're gonna go and find a bow that we can use right now. And then we already started collecting a tinder bundle. Yeah, those are kind of the components we need. We're sitting on this tree branch, which I think might break during this video. Maybe. Ah. It's a beautiful day. It is. Happy to be out here with you. Me too. How do you feel about getting fire? Do you think it's gonna? Do you think it's in the cards? Yeah, I am excited. I want to do it. I I actually got into this by watching the show Naked and Afraid. Mm. For years, like I got obsessed with that. Like I don't want to be afraid or naked, but I wanted to do a lot of the things that they were doing. I always saw how hard it was for them to get the fire, you know. And then when they would, particularly men, every time they would, they all of a sudden they'd have this big fire and they'd have their shirts off and they'd be like, "I've created fire!" Like that's the every episode. Once they get fire, they're like, you know, doing this dance. And I just feel like. For me, like it's kind of a spiritual endurance, also a total dependence on a power greater than myself. Like, how can I make this happen with only the things God's provided? How can I make something that man can just go, boom, here it is. Mm. How can I make it if I was really in a situation, and, and I don't know that I ever will be, but still, I wanna be able to do it. Like, mm -hmm. it is like a bucket list thing for me. Like, I wanna make, fire from sticks yeah yeah i think there's a shit ton more people who realize like self-reliance is important now especially with coronavirus and it's something you got to keep working at just because you get bow drill once and you get a coal and it works one day it's a skill that you have to keep it progressing to really have it in your bag and uh, make sure that you can use it whenever you need it so yeah. today we're out practicing and hopefully we get fired i hope so yeah i know it's right. not easy Okay, so one of the first things we need to do is look for a tinder bundle. Since it's kind of wet out here, we want to look for uh, tree bark. It's probably one of the better, the better things we can use. Okay, so I got this frayed out piece of bark here. Um, so this can be used as two things. We can also use this as natural cordage. Um, but I actually didn't pull this off the tree. I just found it on the ground. Kind of like Here this. we see a Julie in her natural habitat creating a tinder bundle. As she wraps the bark around her thumb, a sort of bird's nest will be formed with the smallest and driest bark near the center. This is where we will turn the coal to flame. The spindle will rotate against the hearth board, causing the necessary friction for ignition. Let's check back in and see how they're doing. So we want to strip all the bark off. The length we're looking for is about from your, if you did like a shaka, like a hang loose brother, it should be like from pinky to thumb. Okay, So I got man hands. Yeah, that's a good size though to start with. Okay. And then after you kind of get it even all the way around, we want to sharpen two ends. So one side's going to go into your handhold and one side's going to go into the board. The side that's going to go into your handhold, you want to be a little bit skinnier, less friction, and this side you want to have more friction. So I'm going to make this point a little bit longer, and I, but I'm going to do that by just going in a circle around from maybe an inch down, and I'm going to work that into a point. Continue to shave that a little bit more, and then this side, maybe a half inch, I'll start doing the same thing, and this shallower side will be the side that goes into my heart. All right, show me what you got here. I got this one. Got the little Y, a little bendy. What's it gonna be? A bow drill. What, what part is that called? The bow. The bow. The bow. So we got a Y at the top. 
right? Yeah. Okay. Get a little Y at the top yep. so we can put the string Stringy. over it. Then tie it down there. And then I like make fire. What I like to do is pin that backside against your back leg. Yep. And then you get torque. Oh, so much easier. I was trying to do it with all my arms. Is that far enough down? That looks perfect. So we've got the burn in finished. You can see the second hole here that doesn't have the notch. Now we're gonna carve the notch into there because we need friction and then we need some air. Okay, so order of operations. We added in our catcher here for our ember. We're gonna hope that an ember gathers there. Once that happens, we're gonna grab the tinder bundle, bring the tinder bundle to the ember. Then we're gonna let this ember breathe and eventually pick it up and drop it in here. We're going to pick this up at about, starting at about eye level and blow a focus blow right into the ember, nice and slow, and it'll start to smoke. As it smokes, what helps me a lot is picking it up over my head okay. because you're gonna inhale a lot of smoke. So you gotta pick it up so that the smoke goes out of your face. Okay. Um, once that's blown into flame, we set it in our little door here, we start a fire. Yes. Well, the real life of Bodro. Shit doesn't work that easy. <laughs> oh, I can do this. Oh, it's so fun. Oh my god. Not really easy. It's fucking hard. You made it look easy with this. Okay, so my mom tried and she got really close, but her wrist slipped a little bit. So we had what I call a blowout. So it kind of came out the side. So I'm gonna burn one in for her real quick. I'll make a notch and then she's gonna get back on there. She's getting a drink. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what this should look like for the burn in. So we want that foot really, really close. As you can see, I put a little notch there with the end of the stick. And then what I like to do, make a little bigger notch with my knife. I'm gonna set in my fire side. Wrist is locked. I'm nice and close there. And I'm gonna start to spin. Now with the burn in, we don't need to go super hard. We don't need to waste all our energy because we're not trying to make a coal right here. We just need to get it through there. So what you'll see right here is the smoke will start coming up and I want to make it so that the full bottom face of the spindle is burnt into the board. Close. It's good. Oh, it's close. It felt so good for so long. And then I couldn't go. Dang it! It's the first time I've ever really seen it happen. We got a nice big coal. Smoking in a boy's room. Yeah! Alright. Alright. Okay. So, what I want you to do here. Bring over the thing. Let's bring that to it. Okay. Perfect. Now don't rush it. Okay. It's breathing right now. So just lay it on top, right in the middle. Just let, do I dump it on there? Yep, dump it in. Nice. Now pick it up. Start to blow on it. Nice and easy. Bring it right down here. There you go, give it a hard one. Ooh, hot. Okay. Woo! 
let's go. Troy. That's so cool. We did it. Yes. Freaking uh. fire, baby. Fire. I've created fire. It's incredible how nature makes its way. With the bow drill, baby. Yeah. Fucking kicking some ass. We battled yeah. for a long time. Yeah. It's a little group effort. It's not easy, but not easy. But you can totally do it. Hey, you can definitely do it. This is uh, just goes to show. Beautiful day on the river. Time to cook some bacon and eggs. Cook that thing up. It ain't no instant pot, but this shit's gonna taste good. Splish splash. Splish splash. Bacon's cooking. I was just thinking we need plates and silverware. One of the perks of being with your mama. excited that I I almost did it all um, I think like there's a huge lesson here that's going through my mind I don't know if you want to hear the lesson but for me um, having the right tools is really important in life and I got to learn how to use a knife today which I've never done before to make this part and to make the spindle and I had these tools that if you don't have them all working together, a lot of times you don't get the end product, right? So it's a process, but um, it took me a while to get everything and, I, and what I realized is don't give up like because the first bow we had was like crap, it didn't work. And then we just got another one and I kind of didn't do this right the first time and just on and on. It didn't always work perfect the first time, but if you have somebody that cares enough to take the time to teach you and will help you and shows you what God's green earth provides you like right here to make things, then you end up with a fire. And at that point, it's like super exciting. So um, for me, it was just so fun. And I didn't get the actual call at the very end, but I did all that work. And then I saw Ryan get the coal, but I will get one. And anything worth having is worth working for. So that's a good lesson too. And for people that are older, don't worry about it. If you have to bring a pad to lean on, I put these gloves on because it was killing my hands. And I just used a couple extra things to help me, but it's okay. I didn't have to be perfect to get the same result. So it was cool. So after every fire that we do on Wild Ride, we put the fire out and we take the crushed coals that we crush with the rock and we mix them up with organic materials. So then when we're practicing leave no trace, what we'll do is we'll take this uh, natural fertilizer here and we'll spread this around, putting it in the tree beds and in the plants around us. And it can actually help them grow uh, using the decaying material and carbon. So. Junior's over here mixing it all up and making a good crushed fertilizer. That's all we got for you today. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy what you saw. Uh, check it out on uh, Instagram. Always happy to see you guys here. Hopefully some new faces. Uh, maybe we can learn some things together. Uh, if you'd like to make a friction fire, comment below uh, your city and maybe we can get together and start a little fire and cook some bacon. So. Let me know. See you guys.